Ladies and gentlemen, on the phone right now, promoting. I'm lost. I don't know what Kevin Hart's promoting now, Rosenberg. More concerts it's now. It's always something. It could be about the wedding ringer, but it's not. Well, I thought you were going to come talk to us about your wedding. Nope, I'm not going to talk to you about that yet. <laughs> not talking to you about my TV show, The Real Husband. Um, not talking uh, to you about the next movie I start filming with The Rock. I'm not talking to you about Ride Along 2. Are you going to talk to us about you country. roasting Justin Bieber for his birthday? Nope, not talking about Come roasting. Come on, Justin Kev. Oh. He's talking to us about appearing at the Oscars. I saw you on the no, lineup. Nope, nope, not the Oscars. <sighs> not talking about that. I'm talking about my world tour, people. Oh. Right. When about. are you coming to the tri-state area, Kevin? I'm about to hit all bows in New York. You know what I mean by that? No. That oh. means I'm going to do the Garden. Okay. I'm going to do the Brooklyn Arena. Oh, congrats. I'm you're doing, a, forward, you're doing the Garden the Theater? Garden Arena. 5,000 seats? No, 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 no. The, the Garden, guys. The, the real Garden. Madison oh. Square Garden. Oh, my oh you mean where they play basketball? Yeah, where they actually play the game. And, okay. you know, they don't do a good job currently. However, <laughs> there is Yeah, you'll be better than the basketball, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, the place where I just got the MVP trophy. Oh, <laughs> Black History. It was Black History Month. Yo, time out. That 12-year-old right, girl gave you the that's business, though, my G. Breaking you down out there. No, no, no. She made me realize I need to work on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> she made so, me realize. My so legs ain't as strong as they're supposed to be. My calf. It's my calf muscle. <laughs> that girl took the mess out of me. Don't ever call Barclays the Brooklyn Arena. I know, ever. I know. I thought you were going to let him slide with that one. No. <laughs> it's a Brooklyn place. No, no. It's a Brooklyn place. And also, when you get to Jersey and you're at Prudential, you're actually in Newark, New Jersey. Be very careful yeah, and address those one, people too. correctly, sir. Listen, put yourself in my shoes. Do you remember all this stuff? <laughs> yes, I remember all this stuff. When do tickets go on sale for this, Kevin? Tickets go on sale on the 20th, Friday, man. All right, so. On the 20th, whatnowtour.com. So you were at the All-Star Game, and while you yeah. were at the All-Star Game, I flipped over and checked out the Saturday Night Live 40. Did anyone okay. tell you how many times they managed to squeeze you into the SNL 40 special, even though you were only on the show like three weeks ago? I got a call saying that Steve Martin mentioned me in his monologue, which was major, told me that they showed my old audition clip. And that explains why Eddie Murphy wouldn't do shit for them. Because <laughs> he was like, word, y'all showing Kevin Hart? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why he made no jokes. Zero. <laughs> Did you hear about that? That Eddie got up there, I was all psyched to see him, and then he didn't I, actually I make heard, a joke? I heard about it. Eddie is just at a different point of his life. You know, I think what we all want to see and what everybody's expecting is, is something that he's done with. It's time for us just to, to understand and respect that. I mean, he's doing music. He's moved on to other interests and, and other challenges in his life. It's really no win for him because everybody's expectations are so high as to what he should do and what they want to see from him. I kind of understand why he's just going in the direction of just being happy and doing him. He's putting the work to get there, so I don't knock him for it. I'm still a fan. I'm, I'm still a guy that understands I'm able to do what I'm doing because of what he's done. Sorry to cut you off, but I want to hear myself talk more. Do Great. You, do you ever get annoyed that because you're so small, I feel like people think it's funny to touch you all the time? Everyone's always putting you in a headlock, <laughs> rubbing your head. Does it ever get annoying to you? Don't lie. Wait a minute. You said that people, people want to touch me all <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's always rubbing on you. Like I'm a doll baby or something. Yeah, no, I don't, so I don't really think about it. Now you're going to make me think about it. You, you're you're going to be like, every, everybody's petting Kevin Hart. They are. They're like him. a little pet. I'm going to start yelling at people. Don't you pet me, man. Don't you pet me. <laughs> With this Justin Bieber roast, that, did Justin call you personally? And are you going to take it easy on him? Or are you really going to go in on him? Nah, well, he called me personally. Justin's a friend of mine. Uh, asked me to do it. Uh, I know he's turning 21, so this is a big deal. I'm not going to be malicious, but I'm going to, I got to take some shots at him. I mean, that's why we're there. We're there to make fun of him and, and tease him and kind of put in his face what's been done before. Listen, Kevin Hart is coming to Madison Square Garden July 7th. He's going to be at the Prudential in Newark, New Jersey, which he probably won't come back there again after he goes July 11th. <laughs> and he's going to be at Jones Beach on August 28th, which is going to be awesome because it's going to be outside. Kevin Hart yeah. outside at the beach is kind of dope. So dope. I literally can't wait, man. This, this tour is going to be groundbreaking. People just expect to be an event. The leather the suit. Event. Talk about the leather suit. Woo! The le I cannot wait to pet you in that suit. <laughs> 
Hey, that really is going to give me a complex. I have not thought about it until you just brought it up. Uh, Kevin Hart, later, Kev. Peace, bro. Thanks, Kev. All right, man. Love y'all. Later. Be safe.